Welcome back to HodgePodge. Selecting artwork in Illustrator can be straightforward. However, there are many different ways and various types of selection methods that you might not be aware of. Learning all methods of selection in the program will improve your workflow, efficiency, and make you a better illustrator. Selecting an object in Illustrator is as easy as clicking on an object with the Selection tool. The Selection tool can be accessed quickly with the letter V on your keyboard. Clicking on the object will bring up the bounding box visual. You may use the bounding box to transform your object. We will review the transform tool in a future tutorial. Hold shift to add multiple objects to your selection. Or you could select all of these objects by clicking and dragging. You can click and hold from left to right or right to left. Both have the same function, unlike most 3D modeling programs. You can eliminate some of these selected objects by holding down shift and selecting the one you would like to eliminate. If you wanted to select several objects at the same time by clicking and dragging, but had another object interfering, like a background, you might accidentally drag the background rather than creating a selection window. To avoid this, you could select the background, then go to the top menu and click Object Lock Selection or use the shortcut command 2. Now you may click and drag without changing the position of your background layer. To undo this lock, you could right click on the object and select Undo Lock and quickly reapply by right clicking and selecting Redo Lock. This right click function will always first list the last action taken in the program. If several other actions have taken place and you wish to unlock the locked object, Again, go to the top menu and select Object, Unlock, All. To quickly select many objects of similar characteristics, you could use the Select Similar Objects button in the top of the program window. This button will provide a drop down menu with different matching selection options like Fill Color. Using Fill Color as the determining characteristic, all of our objects with the same fill color are automatically selected. This feature can be particularly handy when working with complex patterns and illustrations. You could also select objects with similar attributes by using the Magic Wand tool in the Tool Panel. This tool can be customized by double-clicking the Tool icon in the Tool Panel or by going to the top menu and selecting Window Magic Wand. The Direct Selection tool will allow you to select anchor points and create vector paths. The Direct Selection tool can be quickly accessed with the letter A on your keyboard. Clicking and dragging with the Direct Selection tool will allow you to select multiple anchor points within the selection window. The Direct Selection tool will be reviewed more in future lessons. That concludes this lesson. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave a like, check out my other videos, and subscribe.